shapes, icons, not sure where to find them on Adobe Express or what the differences are? Let's take a look. Let's start with a template that I found inside Adobe Express under the Templates tab. We're gonna go to Elements tab on the far left and I'm gonna go to Shapes. Now here's the magic behind Shapes. When we click on Circle, it adds it to my design. It allows us to modify these shapes and it doesn't feel as stagnant. We can also add a border if we wanted to. So just click on this element here where it says border and we could give it a border color. We can also adjust the thickness as much as we want or just go and remove the border. For now, I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna go back to the fill. I want to use a fill color just from the little dress over here. So I'm gonna just pull the eyedropper icon and I'm just now going to bring this shape to the background. That's all I wanted to do, but now you see you have fill, border, and you can adjust the border thickness. This is all embedded inside Adobe Express. Now let's add an icon. If I go to icons, I'm still under my elements tab, you see there's a ton of different options and we have them here under categories. Now we can search for a particular icon so I can look for flowers and it'll give me a lot of different options to choose from. So let's just click on this flower. It's gonna add it to my design over here. And now when I have this flower selected, you see I only have an option for fill. I I cannot create any outlines and I can't modify the size or the stroke of the outline. I just can only do fills. I can adjust the opacity and even give it a blend mode. But that is all that I can do. And if I click on the information icon, we'll see that this came from Adobe Stock. So it's a little bit more limiting as far as how I can size this because if I resize this, it's going to do it proportionally versus when we use a shape where we can modify it to our needs. And now you know the difference between shapes and icons.